Hello and welcome to our Smart Item tutorial. Are you planning to use MicroPiles for your project? With our Smart Titan design tool, you can then mention MicroPiles as well as verify different properties of the system. MicroPile Online Design is a straightforward, reliable calculation tool that gives you accurate dimensions for Titan MicroPiles for your construction project. With the online tool Smart Titan, you can easily pre-dimension your micropiles and effectively determine the size of bars, lengths, and perform difficult verifications such as buckling and fatigue analyses. Simpler working procedures plus time savings means significantly shorter calculation times. This tool eliminates the errors produced in manual calculation, thus creating dependable designs. At the end of the design process, a PDF will be generated which shows all the information you have entered and calculated, including a company logo and all project information entered. Now let's begin to pre-dimension your micropiles. So let's begin. The tool is free and can be accessed once registered using a company email. If you do not have an account yet, please click here to register. I have already created an account and so we can begin the design process. On the left side of the screen, we can see the different tabs which we will go through in the design process. The tool is available in two languages, English and German, and this can be modified at the top toolbar. The tool currently incorporates three design modules, Eurocode 7, Eurocode 7 with the German approval, and the ASH2. This tutorial will be formed according to the Eurocode 7. Now we may enter any project information, such as a title, subtitle, remarks, and a company logo when necessary. For us, data protection is a high value. Therefore, nobody else other than yourself has access to the information with which you feed the tool. Your information such as company name and author name will appear automatically based on the information provided upon registration. The design verifications are separated into tabs listed on the left-hand side of the page. Please click on the inner load carrying capacity to begin the design. Step 2. Calculation and Verifications Throughout the tool, all fields highlighted in yellow can be changed as required. Since we are designing micropiles in compression, select the load type here as compression. The tool can also perform the calculations under tension loading. The tool considers either factored or unfactored load cases. If the load cases have already been factored and are design loads, they can simply be entered here. If the loads, however, are in fact unfactored, select FD calculation from applied characteristic load and enter the values to be factored. Because the design module considers the general Eurocode 7, the partial factors can be adjusted according to the respective national annex. The tool then multiplies each entered action with the given partial factor and sums down to give the design value of 768 kilonewtons. The tool automatically selects the smallest possible Titan bar, Titan 7353, from Ishebeck Titan's available hollow bars. As you see, a smaller bar cannot be chosen. We must also select an appropriate drill bit, which is useful in determining the outer load carrying capacity. If we select the plus sign on the right hand side, a table opens up presenting suggested drill bits based 
on the different ground properties given. The soil we are considering here is a medium dense granular material and thus a 175 millimeter cross cut drill bit is selected. The design resistance of the 7353 is automatically determined to be 848 kilonewtons. The tool also includes these function buttons on the right hand side which show the formulae used in the calculations and will also be printed on the final PDF. Once the utilization factor given here is less than 1, the design is OK. For more details regarding the verification, you can simply click on the Show Details option at the top of the window and all parameters are listed. We also have the option to select buckling and the buckling tab should only be selected in instances where there is a buckling potential, for example, in very soft soils. For further questions and clarification on buckling, please do not hesitate to contact us. We also have the option here to do a fatigue verification and again it should only be selected in instances of repeated or significant cyclic or dynamic loading. Simply insert the upper limit and lower limit of the loading as well as the number of cycles and the tool determines the utilization factor. If greater than one, you are prompted to use a larger section. Once again, we can select the Show Details button to see all parameters included in the calculation. Now we will proceed to the outer load carrying capacity. On the left hand side, please navigate to the outer load carrying capacity tab. So here we are in the outer load carrying capacity tab. The first four entries are entered automatically from the previous sheet. If these micropiles were inclined, the inclination angle would be entered here relative to the vertical axis. However, we are designing vertical micropiles and we have to leave this as zero. The partial safety factor should be taken from the respective national annex. For the purpose of this example, we have considered the partial factor for resistance of board piles in compression as 1.3. Now we are prompted to enter the soil layers in terms of thickness and skin friction. Notice that as we enter the data, the tool calculates the resistance possible in that layer and then the total length and resistance to verify the design. Here the length required is 11.35 which we can round up to 11.5. The pile resistance for the chosen length is automatically calculated and the utilization factor is less than 1 so the design is OK. To finalize the length we must include the extension into the pile cap to facilitate the necessary head construction. The standard rule of thumb is to include 0.5 meters, thus giving us a final pile length of 12 meters. We also have the option to verify the pile group and again this should only be considered in the instances of pile groups and where the total loads and dimension of the pile group is given. More details can also be seen if we click on the Show Details button on the top. We can also verify the transmission length, which is based on the compressive strength of the grout and the minimum transmission length is calculated. Here we have completed both the design of the steel as well as the length 
and we just need to do some cosmetic things, such as the head construction. We now navigate to the head construction tab on the left side of the page. This tab simply provides a guideline on the placement and dimensions of the transition tube based on the hollow bar that was calculated in the previous sections. Notice the design load, the steel bar, as well as the dimensions of the hollow bar and required grout cover are given here. We can then select what type of tube we want to consider between the PE HD tube and a steel tube. Once one of the tubes are selected, we are given the minimum dimensions required for the tube, as well as the position of the head plate. Finally, after completing the design, we can output the results as a PDF. Navigate to and select the Create PDF button at the top of the screen. You are prompted to select the tabs that you would like to print to the PDF and select whatever you don't want to appear in the PDF and then hit Create PDF. In our Smart Item, we have also included a Save Project option, which gives the user the option to save a project and retrieve it later on using the My Projects button. Simply click on the project that you wish to reopen and begin working again. The document can then be opened in your preferred PDF viewer and all the calculations, including your company logo and all the information that you have given, appears in the PDF document. Observe that all the values entered, as well as the formulae used to calculate the different parameters, are given on the right-hand side. If you have any further questions or require any help to navigate our Smart Titan online design tool, we would be more than happy to assist you on your projects. Myself and our entire Ishebek team would be happy to help at any time.